lining up for a hot meal, standing apart outside where they would normally be welcomed in. This is our lunchroom at the mission. Um, we usually have maybe 50, 60, 70 people, um, but obviously it's empty right now. This mission has changed the way it works to prevent the spread of the virus. A lot of things we had to cancel. Uh, we're keeping our focus only on uh, food, the provision of food and whatever emergency services that we can provide. Charities across Canada say they're facing an unprecedented challenge with COVID-19, with cancelled food drives and fundraisers, and in some cases a drop in donations and a shortage of volunteers. We've certainly never seen anything like this before, the way uh, support has just suddenly, suddenly stopped. I'm fearful that it's going to be, it risks hollowing out the charitable sector. UNICEF is part of a coalition of charities asking the Prime Minister for help. They want a $10 billion stabilization fund to prevent organizations from suffering irreparable damage. This nonprofit collects and sells clothing donations, but its stores are now closed and 850 employees temporarily laid off. Big Brothers and Big Sisters in Halifax is also unable to collect and sell clothing, but is still trying to maintain connections like this. Hi, London. Hi, Sissy. I love you. Volunteer Big Sister Caitlin Lees and her little sister London Gorey. London turned 11 a couple days ago. And this was the the first birthday we've had together in a while and I, I couldn't give her a hug. Um, I left her a present on her doorstep up and waved at her and... It was nice, but it was like a little upsetting because I couldn't give her a big squeeze. Quebec's Premier is encouraging healthy people under 70 to see if local organizations need volunteer help as many charities appeal to Canadians to donate if they can. Alison Northcott, CBC News, Montreal.